about a week ago, I recorded a couple of vlogs that day, specifically about the nerd stereotype. And I tried to post them, but for some reason they wouldn't post. And they kept dropping me some kind of corruption or something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not nerd enough to understand that even. Um. So that that kind of um relates to this a little bit. I'm not nerd enough. I like the show King of the Nerds. And I was so excited that day because I saw a commercial and on uh, January 23rd, the third season of King of the Nerd starts. Now, I watched all the first season, all the second season. I love them. I, I actually watched the episodes, a couple of the episodes I watched more than once. But um, I only say that to illustrate... I'm making a weird noise. Um, but I'm not nerd enough. I'm not a rocket scientist. You know, I, did, I didn't go to college when I was 12. Or, and I don't have an IQ of 7 zillion 13. Or any stupid scene number. I, I'm not good, uh, really great at, like, math. Um, which, <laughs> those are nerd stereotypes. Um, granted... I was a straight A student in, in uh, high school and in college. Eh, I did pretty good. I the only reason I, I slacked off a little bit, um, but I got A's and B's in the first two years. Easy. Um, you saw the glass I just took off. Those are really nerdy glasses. Look at the nerdy glasses. I want to own a pocket protector, too. My wife won't let me get one. She says she doesn't want me to do it. But I, see, I'm embracing the stereotype, but I'm also showing that it's, it's stupid. It's not 100% real. I mean, yeah, I fit some things, but not everything. I'm not nerd enough. I have another story that I, I got on another vlog about um, comic book, being a comic book nerd. I like comic books. Um... But these guys were talking about some things, and I, I didn't know what they were talking about. And they're like, "You're not nerd enough." What? Really? That was the first time I ever heard somebody say nerd enough, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a nerd, but there's like levels of nerd, and there are levels, and that's hence part of, partially why I have the title Lert, Levels of Geekdom." That was the title of my my huge breakout book. Mm. Because, well, I like the word ner geek better than nerd. I think geekdom sounds better than nerddom. I think nerddom just sounds stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's like <coughs> excuse me, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. I mean, nerddom stu and geekdom, and, and it's, they're both they're both pretty dumb. <laughs> but I I prefer geekdom better. Just that word. And nerds. I think I'm more a nerd than I'm a geek. I mean, stereotypically. Because, yeah, I've got glasses and I'm smart, but I'm not that smart. I'm not uber genius. So, maybe I don't really fit the nerd, but I fit geek more because I, I like geeky stuff. Like science fiction movies, toys and comic books. But that's not my life. I mean... <laughs> I've been, I have not been in a comic book store in a long time, actually. I think about it. Um, this one, this, this is an aside, but it, it relates to the comic book store thing. There's this one store that I went to every week in high school, sometimes two or three times a week. That's why I spent most of my income on, so that's why I thought I was nerdy enough to talk to these guys about comic books, but apparently I'm not. But, um, anyway, about three or four months ago I went to the same store for nostalgic reasons I thought I'll, I'll go inside you know it, it feel good but I sat in the parking lot I didn't go in actually I, I pulled up and I, I thought I want to go in but I want to, I, don't, I don't have an urge to buy anything and it feels so wrong to go in a store to browse and not buy something so I, I I convinced myself not to go in because I thought that would be silly. I don't want to feel guilty about walking around and it's a it's a 
a store, not a library. I don't want to be sitting there flipping through reading things. That would be wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't be nice. Wouldn't be wouldn't be polite. How would I feel if I owned a store and somebody came in just to browse? I will own a store, actually. Something a major aspect of of uh, our dream is to have a bookstore, a bookstore, coffee house, hangout. That's another vlog, because, <laughs> man, uh, it's, it's a big deal talking about this this uh, daydream of ours. Um, but I was talking about the nerds there. But I got to get back to my vlog. What I intended the vlog to be about was about about the nerd stereotype and about how it's not 100% accurate. Like all stereotypes, that's the theme of my life, of my writings. It's, it's my motif that the stereotypes are not 100%. I like to debunk stereotypes. Now, I do that is I go to the extreme or illustrate the opposite or something like that because stereotypes aren't real. They're I mean they're accurate to a point, but that point it's drawn in the sand. It's it could sand sand is movable. I mean waves come over and move the sand and it just washes it down and it, I might not be making much sense. But the the point the line where the stereotype ends and the real person begins. It's really it moves. It's it's not set in stone. It's not concrete. That there's no there are no rules for where that line ends. Stereotypes are just they're just there. It's easier to use a stereotype. It's easier to say that. It's usually more succinct in uh, languaging to to say. That nerd! But, really? What is he? What is he really? It doesn't define the person as much as it should. There's a bus. There's a bus. I guess I, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to upload this, this vlog. Um, January 5th. January 5th vlog.